we as the believers and the Christians and the pastors and the leaders of the Lord Jesus Christ uh, uh, already know that it is illegal spiritually to be a homosexual, but yet we embrace it as though uh, 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 that it is legal. God never created anyone to be anything that he already deemed to be unlawful. You are a and prophet you are to the king. to speak to the gay Absolutely. community and not apologize to and them. And you are called to speak to, to the president of the United States. States. You are called to tell them that the way you of are is called death and the gift to of say God is to eternal men life. And that you we have are a responsibility to honor to tell them both man that they need and to turn female. Their hearts Absolutely. And repent from, and repent from every their sinner. actions. Every For, sinner. Every sinner. Every one of them. Not apologize to them. We, as the believers and the Christians and the pastors and the leaders of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, uh, already know that it is illegal spiritually to be a homosexual, but yet we embrace it as though uh, 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 that it is legal. God never created anyone to be anything that he already deemed to be unlawful. He never did. Pete Buttigieg said that God, my creator, made me this way. Well, to be honest with you, Dr. Bryant, I really, uh, the future of the church is, in my eyes, very bleak and dismal. I think that Right now, the church is extremely silent and mum on policies and procedures or legislations that are contrary to the word of God. Mm -hmm. And I think that because you're having more pastors who are compromising their, uh, their stance on, on what the word of God says about a particular policy, uh, for instance, abortion is one, um, life is, we know it is, is important. And I think that when you look at the gay community and the LGBTQ community, I think that um, the Bible makes it very clear that it is an abomination. Um, and I think that we in the church are speaking too much about the love of God and not enough about repentance to God. Mm. The love of God is that gay community be delivered and healed. I believe in demons, Dr. Brian. I believe that demons are very real. I believe they walk the earth today and we have very but you're, you're not saying that people are lgbtq are filled with demons that's not what you're saying well i believe that sin is twisted yes i believe without a shadow of a doubt that sin twists the heart of man yes um and i believe that there are some that are not just part of the gay community i believe any sin whether you're an alcoholic whether you are a liar whether you're uh, um, a thief whether you're a murderer, you have these evil thoughts in your minds and your heart and you act out upon them. I think all of them. See, we're isolating the LGBT community, but God hates sin. Yes. Period. But when you look at all have sinned by and, thought, and call, uh, yes. by word and by deed. Uh, that, but it is our desire to repent. Yes. So we're talking about a repent for I have no issue whatsoever. A, a, a gay person. Oh, yes. My cousin, Jamal Hypocrite Brian. My yeah. Lord. He got over social media hmm. and saying how God, Jesus was wrong and most of the things he done, Jesus was wrong. My Lord. And most of the things he done. You see, if these men get so big, yeah. so rich, you people exalt these filthy, no good, no low good. down pulpit dogs. That's right. Until you exalt them higher than God. That's right. And then they say things that they think now they got the authority to say. That's right. No man That's right. is greater than God. No, no. Am I right, I say? That's right. No man. No man. Is equal to God. That's right. No man is better than God. That's right. That goes for me. That's right. I'm not better than God, equal than God, greater than God. I'm a servant of God. That's right. I'm here to serve. That's right. Hallelujah. Jesus said, he that is greatest among you, That's let it. him be your servant. That's it. I'm here to serve. That's it. That's why every time we preach the gospel, Go we're giving you service. We're serving you scripture. That's we're it. serving you God's manna from heaven. That's right. Hey! seen there has been significant discussion and controversy surrounding Jamal Bryant's apology to the LGBTQ plus community. 
Various sources have reported on the matter, including a video where a bishop publicly confronts Jamal Bryant, accusing him of delivering a fake apology and going against the scriptures. Another commentary criticizes him for compromising the word of God and speculates about hidden motives behind his apology. It's important to note that these are serious allegations and it would be uh, prudent to consider multiple perspectives and sources to fully understand the situation. If you are looking for more detailed information, it might be helpful to watch the video or read more about the incident from various viewpoints to uh, form a well-rounded understanding. Remember, it's always beneficial to approach such sensitive topics with empathy and a critical eye towards the sources of information. As of now, there is no specific official statements from Dr. Jamal Harrison Bryant regarding the recent controversy surrounding his apology to the LGBTQ plus community. However, it's uh, essential to note that Dr. Bryant is a prominent figure with a rich history of activism and leadership. Dr. Bryant currently serving as the senior poster, uh, senior poster of the legendary New Birth Missionary Baptist Church in Stonecrest, Georgia, embodies a rare balance of spiritual gifts and practical education experiences. His commitment to uplifting, inspiring, and transforming lives through faith, knowledge, and action is evident in his work as a pastor, activist, and author. While there may not be an official statement directly addressing the recent events, it's essential to stay informed and consider multiple perspectives when discussing sensitive topics. As the situation unfolds, Dr. Bryant's action and words will likely continue to be closely uh, scrutinized by various communities and individuals. Remember that understanding complex situations often requires patience, empathy, and willingness to engage with diverse viewpoints. If you are interested in staying updated, I recommend keeping an eye on reliable news sources and official channels associated with Dr. Jamal Bryant. For those interested in the detail of this exchange and ensuring debate, there are several videos and discussions available online that capture the essence of their arguments and the reactions from the communities. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for staying with us. If you are new to our YouTube channel, then please subscribe our channel and also press the bell icon so that the upcoming videos will reach you timely and we will keep you updated in our upcoming videos. And that's it for now. Allow us good night. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you.